Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the buck converter with constant on-time control demo model. This Plex demo model shows a buck converter with constant on-time control implemented using the Plex state machine block, which provides a graphical way of modeling a system's reaction to input signals. In this case, the state machine is deployed to function as a current compensator and takes in as its input a current error signal and produces as its output a modulation signal to the MOSFET. By double clicking on the block, we can see the graphical stateful implementation, including states, transitions, and junctions, as well as the associated code with these. Actions performed during the execution of a state machine, such as enter, during, and exit, can be implemented using the C programming language. More information on the state machine block and how to configure it can be found in the Plex user manual and tutorials on the Plexum website. This particular state machine has three states. The on and off states are used to switch the MOSFET on and off. There is an additional waiting state. The constant on time logic is intended to turn on the MOSFET for a fixed duration when the actual current becomes less than the reference current value. And after the MOSFET is gated off, it must remain switched off for a minimum duration before it can be switched on again. Therefore, we require to continuously sample the input signal and define some timing threshold values. The configuration window is where the inputs and outputs are defined as well as other constants and variables, including the two timing intervals required for this controlled scheme. An animation mode is also available to step through each state machine transition to effectively run the simulation in a validation or debug mode. This concludes the video on the bug converter with constant on-time control demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thank you for watching.